Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hollister McIntyre Flyers franchises. Today we are in the regular season finale, starting with game 15, taking on the Green Bay Packers. We will finish out the season, taking on the New York Jets, and then it is on to the playoffs, and as far as we get in the playoffs, we'll probably do one final off-season stream. I do want to do those, those are fun. I have a lot of fun doing those. Um, after that off-season stream, this series will officially... Well, I guess unofficially, maybe technically it'll be over. There will be an epilogue at some point, but we're not going to worry about that now. For now, we're just going to jump into the final game here. Final games, rather. And off we go here in Salt Lake City. Declan will return this one from the goal line out to the 10, the 20, and driving down about the 27-yard line. And that is where the Flyers will start their day. Kylan and of course remember his statistics at this point aren't necessarily accurate we can't take them at face value here as we did have that corruption issue um, think of him as more of a one-to-one -one interception touchdown ratio finding Sterling Shepard here on third down and nine though a really nice throw it'll be first down and 10th to 43 Sterling Shepard I think has been a really good signing for us so far now I hand off here to Lance Roach up the middle picks up about 12 yards there and the Flyers are already across midfield. Now a drop back. Kai sacked. And Campbell takes him down. I'm not sure what uh, the blocking breakdown was there. Second and 19. And our line is just giving it up here. And it's a pick thrown. Russell Perkins with the interception, actually. And the uh, rookie there, Russell Perkins, the fifth, picks it off. And now Jordan Love will come out and get his first drive of the day. So not a good start for the Flyers here. It is first down and 10. Jordan Love handing this one off and it's going nowhere. A one yard loss as a matter of fact. As Chance for Donna takes Atkins down for one yard. Tackle for loss there. Now play action. Jordan Love going to throw this one off. That is caught. Down to the 19 yard line. That is Beatman. So now second down and two at the 10 yard line. Jordan Love under center, drop back here. And he's gonna be sacked and he'll actually lose the ball. Unfortunately, Flyers could not fall on it there. And that means the Packers will get to walk away from this one with three, and they do so. A chance to uh, give them no points would have been really nice. Hand off Lance Roach here on the stretch and Roach got a first down. 10 yard run for him as it's now, oh actually second and in inches. Second and 10 after a holding, but we're going to hand it right back to Lance Roach. He's got a big gain here, past 50, down to the 39. And Roach on five carries, already at 50 yards rushing. So it's now third down and one at the 31 yard line. Hand off, Roach. We're just going to keep feeding him. He bounces this one outside. Roach into the end zone. And that was a drive where we just had to hand it off to him and wring our hands and be done with it. Lance Roach absolutely marched down that field. Now back on offense, a throw out to Tay here. Dante Adams with a 20-yard catch as still the focal point of this offense, of course. And they do have David Bakhtiari still at left tackle, holding things down. Now finding Devontae again down to the 22. Jordan Love really uh, establishing who his favorite target is so far. Of course, the Packers do also have Ernie Stachelski, who they signed out of free agency. And this is a sack for TJ Benson. As he's up to his fifth sack of the season, of course, remember these numbers aren't accurate. TJ Vincent getting a little screwed over by the corruption. Now on offense, one point lead for the Flyers as the Packers tacked on another field goal. And we're at midfield, first and 10. Lenahan going to throw this one out, and that's caught. And Sean Stevens down to the 29-yard line as he's gotten the starting job again. We've just kind of been a rotating door here, revolving door for wide receivers this year outside of Maverick Barnes and it's a nice run from Lance Roach as he eclipses 100 yards third and five now man in motion and Linehan throws a pick here and that is Spice Campbell the edge rusher has hurdled a blocker and gotten to Kai Linehan this time forcing another pick so first and ten Packers and this is a throw to Devontae Adams Adams has a lot of room in front of him brought down by Dante Jackson at the 46 yard line, a huge gain there. But the Flyers would get the ball back later. Third and 14, a sack! And Campbell with the sack, Campbell with the scoop. 
And he's going to return this for six. And I don't even understand what's going on with this right side of the line as the Flyers will get the ball back now down six with a minute and 50 left. And this one's picked off. It's just been nonstop badness here. Amos picking that one off. And that would be the end of the first half as the Flyers would go down three after a field goal. Now Kai Linehan finding a go there for nine yards. Second down and one. Handoff from Lance up the middle. Oh, and it gets rocked. Ball springs out, and it's picked up down to the 15-yard line by Callaway. Lance Roach got absolutely lit up there. Now it's third down and six at the 11. Jordan Love sacked TJ Benson. Well, this defense has absolutely done their jobs today. That's third down and nine. Flyers have the ball once again, down six once again. Kyle Linehan rolling out left, finding Sterling Shepard here down to the 45. Three interceptions on the day, but Linehan still throwing some nice passes here on the run. Just got to get these errors down. Again, finding Sterling Shepard for a first down here, 10 yard gain. It's first and 10 at the 16. Linehan throwing this one in the flats to Lance Roach. Roach has about seven on that one, down to the nine. This is going to be second down and three. Man in motion. It's a handoff. Marlon Mack cuts outside and he scores. Mack with two cuts there that were really clean. And the Flyers take the lead. So one point lead with two minutes left in the third quarter. And that's a sack for TJ Benson. Third on the day. And the P Flyers will get the ball once again. At midfield, Linehan rolling left. Going to throw this one underneath. And he absolutely airmails it for Dylan Murdoch. Russell Perkins, the fifth, picks it off, and he's got a free lane to the end zone. And that's his second interception of the day and his first touchdown scored. Russell Perkins, the rookie. And Ty Linehan is just making mistakes now. Linehan throwing this one underneath Lance Roach for about eight yards there down to the 27. It's going to be third down and three. Handoff. Lance rocked down by Jair Alexander. And that's going to be a yard short of a first down. Fourth and one will go for it. Handoff. Kosi absolutely has a first down. And then the flag. This one's coming back. So we march back eight yards. Fourth and nine. And we're going for it still. Kai going to step up in the pocket. Take off and run with this one. Tries to hurdle a defender. And he gets brought down hard. Turnover on downs. So 14 point game with four minutes left in this one. Linehan throwing this one out. Caught Maverick Barnes on the comeback. You got to be efficient now with three timeouts left. You cannot afford to make mistakes. Play action. Kai. Hit as he throws. And this one's picked off. And at this point when Madden's doing things like that, you just got to throw in the towel. And that is exactly what I did. We were done with that game. Packers absolutely just trounce us. Most of their scores coming on defense or off of turnovers with short field. Defense did a lot today that I was proud of. Offense sucked. And Kyle Linehan, love him or hate him, he still continues to really just not be all that impressive. Now, a lot of those are my decisions, but a lot of those are also bad throws by Kyle Linehan, who's in his third year. Those should not still be happening. Let's go ahead and jump forward to the final game of the regular season against the Carolina Panthers or sorry the New York Jets rather completely different color there led by Sam Darnold who quarterbacked for the Carolina Panthers in real life so got me a little mixed up there today starting at quarterback will be Jason Price we signed him off the practice squad and we're bringing him in to quarterback in place of Kyle Linehan now that's not a benching of Kyle Linehan as much as it is trying to preserve some of our players for the playoffs here we cannot get first seed. That is locked up by the Cowboys. We can, however, lose second seed, go down to third or fourth seed. So this isn't a non-game necessarily, but it's one we can afford to rest on. As away we go here in New York with the snow coming down. And this is a rough game for uh, Jason Price to be thrown into. But what a, what a statement it'll make if he has a good one. And here he is, the man of the hour, as his team is applauding him on Jason Price, Olympia's season one quarterback. The man is 28 years old already. A bit of a Kurt Warner story here. He was actually at his local supermarket. That is uh, Publix, I believe. And a nice throw here, on first down to Sean Stevens. As I was saying, Jason Price was working at Publix 
in Utah. Safeway, rather, maybe. And he uh, gets the call up to the NFL. And Yannick Ngakwe takes the sack there. Now third and 18, rolling out left and sacked once again. Anderson with the sack this time. And unfortunately for Jason Price, his offensive line has not been great towards the end of the season. Sam Darnold comes into the game having a decent season, but you have to wonder when it will be time for the New York Jets to move on from him. Third and eight here, and Darnold sacked by TJ Benson. Let's make that his fourth of this episode, as he's absolutely dominated. Has to be the best rookie defender this year. We'll see if he wins that award. Now Lance Roach getting this one down to the 32-yard line. It's a first and 10. Jason Price, play action. He is known for play action. Sacked, unfortunately. And that is Shadon Foster with the sack off the edge. So first and 10 now, again, later in the game at the 19. Throwing this one out. That has caught Marlon Mack with a lot of room in front of him. And Marlon Mack just not fast enough anymore to outrun these linebackers even. First and 10, however, at the 35. Now on the gun. Of course, Jason Price played primarily pro style at college at Olympia. Um, trivia question, who was the running back for season one Olympia? And might we see him in the future in some way? Question that hopefully y'all can answer as we end the first quarter here and go to the second. Third and 13 with the alarms blaring. Jason Price calm in the pocket, finds Maverick Barnes. His first NFL touchdown. And that, that is the good start there for Salt Lake City. Six nothing after a missed extra point actually. And an eight yard run there for Alvin Kamara. It's gonna be first and 10 at the 47. Drop back here for Sam Darnold. Throws this one out, caught. Down to the 35, Darnold a really nice find there. Now third and 11, Darnold throwing this one out and that is caught. It'll be at the 32 now, it'll be fourth down and seven. So six to three year score going into the second here, of course, seven minutes left and a nice run here by Lance Roach, shoots it outside. Jan Lance Roach again breaking a tackle down to the 37 yard line, a huge run from him as he's broken off a few of those in recent weeks. His fifth rush of 20 plus yards and most of those have come late in the season. Second and 10 now, finding Davide Flocke, and the ball is stripped out. He was stood up, and then the ball was hunted and stripped out of his pocket there. Jay Terry, the former flyer, recovers the ball. It's first and 10 now. Hand off Kamara, juking inside, breaking the safeties tackle down to the 45-yard line. As the Jets have a really decent team, nothing too bad about their team, just nothing too insanely good either. Nice throw here down to the 43 yard line as it's now first and 10. Now third and 10 at the 43. Darnold throwing this one underneath. That is caught, but it will be short of a first down. It'll be fourth down and two. So Flyers get the ball back once again here. Roll out for Jason Price. Throws this one on the move across his body and finds Theo Clements. What a nice throw there. Now it's first and 10 at the 42. Third and 11, we've lost a yard. Gun here as the crowd is getting loud. Price dropping back. Throws this one out, and that is broken up intended for Lance Roach. And unfortunately, we will have to punt that away. So, still 6-3 to three here as the Jets check in, and a caught catch there. Nice play as Curry gets down to the 25. Now at the 23, third and four. Darnold dropping back, throwing this one out. And that's going nowhere. Jets once again having to settle here as it's now 6-6. Six to six. Price, 30 seconds left in the game. And he'll be sacked by Foster. And we'll take one more shot at things here. Third and 13. Jason Price dropping back. Sacked and the ball is out. Flyers fall on it and that will take us to halftime. A pretty good first half for the defense. And I thought Price made some good throws. But the rush was really getting to him. I'm disappointed in our offensive line. And then just nothing dynamic outside of Lance Roach, really. Let's go ahead and take a look around the league as this is our last real update before the playoffs here. And first, we'll go ahead and start here. I, you know, this one surprises me a little bit at how this has fallen. The Bears have still, in our simulation and fixing the season, they've been bad. Now, unfortunately for the Vikings, they are out of the playoff contention now. Um, hopefully they can finish the season with a win, but unfortunately, simulating actually screwed up their record. Um, but the Bears just bad Cole Bright and the Buccaneers. They have not been able to figure it out in this series Simulation has never once gotten them to be a very relevant team. Unfortunately, 
as the Steelers are pounding them. And then here, Green Bay and Atlanta. The Falcons currently leading the Packers. The Packers are in a precarious position if they can't win this game. Falcons, eh, we'll see what they can pull off. Maybe they can make a run to the wild card. So we're going to start off the second half here. Third down and six. Price throwing this one. Caught Sean Stevens. That's going to be a yard short of the first down, but now you can make a decision about this. Fourth and one, and they'll go for it. Lance Roach handoff, and he's got the first down. Third and nine now, however, under center. Price steps up in the pocket and finds Sterling Shepard on the post down to the 25-yard line. That's eclipsing 160 yards passing for Jason Price today. Now second down and 10. Price dropping back. Throws this one underneath. Finding Sean Stevens down to the 18. And the Flyers continuing to march here. Third down and three. Handoff. Lance. Jukes inside. He's got a first down. Breaks another tackle. He's down to the one-yard line. Lance Roach with the excellent running today has carried this offense and now handing it off on third and goal he can't get the touchdown stood up at the goal line here and it's gonna be fourth and goal Price under center Price play action rolling out to the right nothing open nothing open whatsoever and he'll be sacked and that's a turnover on downs Yannick Ngwakwe another sack and we check in later in the game when they have the ball once again down inside the goal the red zone here Lance Roach a run down to the four yard line will be first in goal inside three minutes left in the third quarter play action roll out left finding touchdown Sean Stevens and Jason Price's second touchdown of the game a seven point lead now back on offense startled and he'll be sacked half sack for TJ Benson Half sack for Chance Fortunata. So Price and the Flyers back on offense here. Dropping back, throwing this one deep to Dylan Murdoch. He's got him down the midfield. And that's a big play as we're now inside the fourth. Inside 12 minutes left in this one. Third and 10 here. You need a score. Throwing this one out to Lance Roach. And he will not quite pick up the first down. It'll be about two yards short. Fourth and one at the 42. Flyers come out to go for it. Handoff. Mack. Short of the first down. And Darnold and the Jets will get one more chance here. Going to be inside 10 minutes after this play. Going this one. Nice catch down to the 43. So the Jets really have a chance to make things interesting here as we're inside 10. Inside our own 50 as well. TJ Benson another sack. Two and a half sacks. Five and a half total this episode. He's absolutely had his fingerprint on this defense this year. And how about one more sack for TJ Benson? Make that six and a half sacks this episode. Absurd numbers for the rookie. So back on offense. Jacoby Declan, an inverted veer here in at the Wildcat. A nice 12 yard run. But unfortunately, we would have to punt. So Jets get the ball once again. Kamara bouncing this one out wide and picks up a big first down, down to the 47. They haven't really run it with him, though. Only nine rushes on the day. So first and ten. Going to be inside of five minutes here in a second. And this one thrown down to the 43. Now second down and six at the 48 after a false start. Darnold dropping back. Nothing really open, but still caught here. Dante Jackson, great coverage. Just a better catch. Second down and seven now. Darnold dropping back. And a hurdle defender sack for Mitch Newman. Really great play there. Kind of looked like Campbell for the Packers last game. Now third and 13. Darnold, too much time in the pocket allowed. Wide open man here. And that is caught inside the 15 as the Jets inside of two and a half minutes. A chance to score and even this one up. Throwing this one out. Caught down to the two, the one. Foster Moreau. Now dropping back, caught for the touchdown, Jets. And this game is even. No, actually the Jets would miss the extra point. So the Flyers just need to go ahead and clutch up this game. And Jason Price would throw a pick. Down to our own 45-yard line, ETN. And now the Jets a chance to go and win this game. Throwing this one out to Kamara. And we can't force the fourth down. Yes, we can. Fourth and inches here. And the Jets will take a timeout, and they will kick this one for the win. Kick is up. 
And it misses! Wide right, just barely! And the Flyers will hang on to win their season finale behind Jason Price. And that is the end of the McIntyre Flyers franchise regular season, the last ever one we'll have of at least our normal series. And I, really on this season, all I can say is I'm a little disappointed. Uh, Kyle Linehan did not take the leaps I was hoping for. The wide receiving room was not impressive despite how much talent there is. And the defense, especially our cornerbacks, were not impressive in the slightest. Jeff Okuda's been a shell of himself, not worth the money in my opinion. Dante Jackson was a good trade for us, but didn't produce as much as I was hoping he would. Chris Harris was pretty good though. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I will have the wild card round coming to you soon. Have a good one.